Now let's move on to question number eight. So we have the question, an initially uncharged one millifarad capacitor has the current graph shown below across it. Now we are asked to find or calculate the voltage across it at t equals 2 milliseconds and at t equals 5 milliseconds. So like the previous example, this time we have a current time graph and we have this basically showing us the current through the one millifarad capacitor. So we are going to find the voltage across it at t equals 2 milliseconds and at t equals 5 milliseconds. Now considering this graph, we have two straight lines that is from 0 to 2 and then from 2 that is let's say greater than 2 t greater than 2. So it means that we are going to have two pieces of functions forming to give us uh, this graph. So like we did in the previous example, here we are going to have two functions. So we are going to find two current functions. So for the first one, that is for the interval 0 is less than t is less than or equal to 2. Now in this interval, this is a straight line. So we are going to use the equation of a straight line. That is this time we have i of t and that is basically equal to mt plus c. So in this case, in this case, we first of all try to find the gradient. And we know the gradient is given by the change in y over the change in x. Now change in y, we have the initial point to be 0, 0 and the final point to be 2, 100. So for the y value, we have 100 minus 0 divided by, that is the change in y and the change in x, we have 2 minus 0. So that is 2 minus 0. Now basically this is equal to 100 divided by 2 and that is 50. So we have the value of m to be 50. Now to find the value of c, that is the point where the line cuts through the y-axis. So we have c to be equal to 0. Now in that case, using this equation, then it means that we have the function giving us this, this line, this straight line, to be i of t equals, we have 50 times t, and then the value of c is 0. So basically this is it, and this is in milliampers. So this is the, the, the value, or let's say, the expression that gives us the current or basically this straight line from 0 to 2. Now we move on to the second, I mean, interval that is where t is greater than 2. So let's say for t greater than 2, here we have a straight line, and then this line is passing through the line or is passing through that is y equals 100. So we say that we are going to have the function i of t is equal to. 100 and this is also in milliampers now what this primarily means is that at every point on the x-axis okay that is the t axis we are going to have i of t to be 100 that is what it primarily means so these are the two um these are the two functions we are going to get for this graph and then based on this we are going to find the voltage across it at t equals 2 milliseconds and at t equals 5 milliseconds so basically what we are going to do is we are going to use the current voltage relationship to do that and then we know that the current voltage relationship of a capacitor in terms of the fact that you want to find the voltage v that is let's say v or v of t is said to be equal to 1 over c times the integral from t naught to t of i of t dt plus v of t naught. Now this is said to be the initial voltage of the capacitor. Okay, the initial voltage of the capacitor. Now from this equation we are going to find the voltage across the capacitor at t equals 2 milliseconds as well as t equals 5 milliseconds. So, trying to do that, that is, let's see, for the interval 0 is less than t is less than or equal to 2, that is, let's say you want to find the current at t equals 
two milliseconds what really happens here is that we are going to have the formula that is v of t is equal to considering this formula that is one over c now in this case you realize that we have the current to be in milliampers we also have the i mean this current also to be in milliampers now considering the graph that was given we have current in milliampers we have time in milliseconds okay so we are also going to maintain the value of the capacitance also in the millifarads okay so that at the end the voltage you are going to obtain will also be in millivolts so basically that is what we are going to do so we are going to have v of t equals 1 over c now this time we have c given in the question as 1 millifarad so we are basically going to write 1 here so that is 1 and then we have the integral from 0 to 2 so from 0 to 2 of the function i of t dt so we have i of t that is 50 t okay times dt and then plus the initial voltage now from the onset we are being told that an initially uncharged capacitor so it means that the initial voltage at this point is going to be zero so we have initial voltage to be zero now let's proceed so here we are going to pull out the constant which is 50 and then we pull out the constant we are left with t we integrate t with respect to t and then we have t squared over 2 from 0 to 2 and then plus 0 okay so plus 0 and then this finally becomes we have 50 divided by 2 that becomes 25 so we have 25 and then here we have the upper limit is 2 so we are going to have 2 square minus 0 square now 2 square minus 0 square is 4 so we are going to have 25 times 4 and that is 100 don't forget that this is in millivolts so we are going to have v of t that is within this interval or basically at t equals 2 milliseconds to be 100 millivolts now let's move on to the second interval that is for t greater than 2 or better still let's say at t equals 5 milliseconds we are going to have v of t to be equal to considering this same formula we are going to have 1 over 1 times the integral from this time we have the initial value to be 2 that is of t to be 2 so from 2 to 5 and then the function is 100 so we have 100 dt plus this time the initial voltage becomes this value we have obtained so that is 100 millivolts that basically becomes the initial voltage now let's continue this is a constant we pull out the constant we have 100 100 and then we have one here so it's 100 times one okay we integrate one with respect to t and then we are going to have t lower limit 2 upper limit 5 plus 100 so we are going to have 100 times now here we are going to have 5 minus 2 and then plus 100 5 minus 2 is 3 so 3 times 100 is 300 and then plus 100 that gives us 400 so we have this to be 400 millivolts so basically basically the voltage across the capacitor at t equals 2 milliseconds is 100 millivolts and then the voltage across the capacitor at t equals 5 milliseconds is 400 millivolts